Alright, on this occasion we're out here on Rebuntuli Coast to hunt some waterfall. It's actually been quite a while since the last time I hunted dogs on this reserve. So today I decided to take a break from the grey fox grind and looking for a melanistic pheasant and come here to see if we can finally find some of the rares we need to fold these waterfall species. You know, in the last months I've been focusing on getting all the rares I still haven't gotten, but I have kinda neglected all the dogs even though I still need to find like 10 different plumages or more. Like, for example, among those plumages, I need to find the Leucistic and the Alpino of the Dog, the Leucistic Golden Eye, the Hybrid Golden Eye, and actually many more. Which is the exact reason why today we're out here on our single player map hunting some dogs, where apart from having a certain chance to find one of these rares, we may also stumble onto some big boys like that massive level 2, with a top estimate of 1005. He has a real chance to be our first ever level 2 time on top the dog, especially because the diamond score is 963. So we're gonna drop him using the Cacciatore. I wanna shoot him in the air, so gonna drop one of those first. Let's see. He is down. By the way, right now we're on this area, which is a fantastic place to hunt top the dogs, golden eyes, and Eurasian teal. It is one of the main locations inside my current setup, which as you can see covers many different spots. I got many tents and decoys around the places where I know the dogs can land, so it's not that hard to kill hundreds of them in just a matter of hours, it's actually relatively easy. Alright, let's see a score of this guy, potentially level 2 diamond. 936.63, he scored pretty much at the bottom of the estimates, so it's not really that big. Let's continue. Alright guys, now we're on this area, and I just spotted the first potential diamond of the hunt coming in. He's a level 3 Hiration Weion with a top estimate of 977, he has a pretty decent chance to make it, and now he's landing. Actually, really close to us. So instead of using the Kashatori this time, I'ma drop him with the Recurve. It's been several weeks since the last time we got our last diamond with the Recurve, and we just got this guy, which hopefully will make it. You know, one of my in-game goals for this year is to get every single diamond with a recurve once again, and in order to achieve that, we need to get pretty much every single dog here on Raven Tully Coast, as well as the Rock Tarmigan and the Willow Tarmigan, plus the Hazel Grouse and the Capper Kaylee. Some of them are gonna be real tough, especially the Tarmigans, since you have to shoot those Serbone. And I actually forgot to mention the Black Grouse, which can also be challenging. So we're gonna start shooting all these diamond potentials using the recurve and getting this guy is certainly a step in the right direction. Unless he trolls, which would be absolutely lame. Let's see. 926.31, he's a diamond. Here is my second diamond Hiration Weion ever and my first Hiration Weion with the recurve. This is a very nice diamond, which is actually not easy to find because the Eurasian Weyon is one of the rarest diamond dogs in the game, perhaps the rarest, so there are many reasons to be happy about getting this guy. Look at that. Level 3 of the dog. The estimate is not that massive, up to 999, and we spotted him right on this lake, which is a nice location to hunt of the dogs and Eurasian Weyon. You know, the Tough the Dog is another of the diamond species that I still need to get with the recurve, so if we get a chance to take him off the list right here, I'ma do it without thinking it twice. And well, as I was saying, this location is great for Tough the Dogs, it is a fantastic place to find them. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, this is where I got my first two diamonds, and I know many people who have also gotten diamonds here. So if you still haven't gotten one, I recommend you to set up your decoys here and hunt this area as often as possible. Ok, now this guy is almost 30 meters out. So let's get ready. As soon as he stops, I'ma smoke him. He's still getting closer, now he's almost at 20 probably. Alright. We got him. Maybe our first time on top of the dog with the recurve. Fingers crossed. And he's a diamond, 982.62. Not massive, but it's way above the diamond requirement, so it's good sized. And that is another diamond with the recurve of the list. 
Now talking about the dog species, we just need to get the golden eye, the Eurasian teal and the green wing teal. That's Eleusistic. No way. My first ever Leucistic of the dog. Up to this point I had only seen them posted and they are absolutely beautiful. One of the best looking warfall rares in my opinion. It's just amazing. And by the way we spotted him on this island which is the most famous location to hunt warfall here on Remontoli coast. I don't need to mention how good this location is, everyone knows it, but if you haven't tried it, you definitely must. There's no better location to hunt dogs than this one. We got like 5. So now let's claim the rare of the dog, which apart from being our first leucistic of this species, it also has a chance to be a level 2 diamond because his top estimate was 995, so it could be. Well, he's not a super rare, he has a score of 921.99, he's big, but not that big, but it doesn't matter because this is one of the rares that we didn't have and now we have it. Alright guys, I just returned to New England mountains to keep searching for a melanistic pheasant and right away, we have the track of a max estimate coyote. Now if you watched the last video, you will remember that just a few days ago we got a really painful troll level 9 coyote, which I thought was gonna be our first ever diamond coyote on this reserve, but unfortunately it wasn't. Instead it ended up being one of the most painful trolls I've gotten recently, mainly because of all the diamonds I still need to find here on New England, the coyote is definitely the hardest. You know, it could take a while to find another level 9, unless this max estimate is also a diamond potential. Ok, this seems to be an area where we should be able to know if he is actually a diamond potential. Frankly, I don't expect him to be huge, but we gotta be optimistic. And that one's a female. No signs of the big one yet, so let's continue the chase. Now, the whole pack seems to be down there. And I think it's safe to assume that the big one is also there. Alright, there he is, level 8. Not a massive coyote, he has absolutely no chance to make it. But still, I'ma drop him. Let's see. Well, we messed it up. Honestly, the angle was far from being the best, so I shouldn't have taken the shot there. And well, unfortunately, we didn't have a chance to take a second shot before he died, but it doesn't really matter because he's just a level 8. And not even a huge level 8, 55.19. Alright, we're still near the place where we got the coyote, we got him right here, and we're currently on this area where I came across the track of a max estimate raccoon. You know, I've been focusing on the areas where I know there are pheasants, and I've been checking like literally all the tracks, especially all the distrophiations, because you never know if one of those distrophiations will be from a melanistic. Now, you may be wondering what is the current state of the Grey Fox grind because I didn't show anything about it in the last video, and I just wanna say that my intention is to stick to that grind until we get the rares we need, which are the albino, the melanistic, and the leucistic, so I will definitely keep showing my progress in the upcoming videos, especially whenever I get a trophy, but I also have to say that the plan is to continue the Warfall grind on Rebon Tully, which essentially means that I will be switching between both grinds, and you may not hear news about the Grey Fox grind as often, in the upcoming content. Oh. Level 2. And that one's a level 4, max estimate. He is not a diamond potential, but it could respawn as one. That's it. 
Here we have the speak level 4 raccoon, which may get close to diamond, but I really doubt he'll be big enough. 11.38, as expected he's a big level 4, and I wonder if someday we'll finally manage to find a level 4 diamond of these guys. You know I've seen quite a few posted, so love to get one myself.